I am Dahlia Wallace, and these are your valedictorians. What is the difference between you as a senior and you as a freshman? So the difference between me being a freshman and now is that, well, I haven't really changed at all really much besides um, my work ethic. It's definitely gone worse. Um, freshman year, I used to always like, you know, do my homework and stuff, and now that senior year, I just kind of just slack off, but I still get the job done, so. Well, I, uh, I hope I'm smarter, but uh, I have to say that um, I, I don't care much about what people think of me as much anymore. I really just go with it and try to be the best I can be. I can't cheer for Marshawn Lynch as a Seattle Seahawk anymore. I lost a lot of baby fat, so that's good, so I don't look 12 anymore. I am a much sleepier person. Every time I sit down, I tend to fall asleep. I stopped wearing dresses every day to school. Jeans and a t-shirt works just as well. I'm much more socially aware, sadly. I haven't been as much as myself as I was my freshman year. I need to work on that. I think my acne has somehow managed to get a little bit better. I look a lot different, I act a lot different, and I guess my drive is a lot, I'm a lot more driven. I think the biggest difference between me now and me as a freshman is that I learned how to manage time better to prioritize which work needs to be done first. The difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman would definitely be confidence. Um, I think we all experience freshman year. We walk in and we're so overwhelmed. Um, and now I can definitely say that I'm a lot more confident in my choices and a lot more confident in what I'm doing. Freshman year, I had a back brace. Senior year, now I don't. What was your most memorable moment at Blackman High School? I would most remember all of the gas leaks that we've had. Blackman High School is where I was part of one of the best bands in the whole country. And um, I met so many great people there and had some amazing directors. Freshman year was a really good year for me and I guess it really set the tone for what my Blackman High School experience would be. The cheerleaders won a national championship. The football team went to Maryville and we went to two state basketball tournaments where we brought home gold balls. For my life at BHS, I'll remember most the bragging rights I got once the Seattle Seahawks won Super Bowl 48 freshman year, but uh, I kind of forget about sophomore year. I'm not going to talk about it. One memory that I think I'll always remember of high school is the capstone class for BCA. It is one of the first or only class that I have where I remember that students has little guidance to help them, so they really get to be an individual. Uh, I probably remember the teachers the most. Um, the teachers that were willing to like work as hard as I was, and Miss Bauman coming in on Saturday mornings, and Miss Price giving practice AP exams all the time, and I'll, I'll remember them the most. The one thing that I'll most remember about black men would be probably the people I've met. Um, even though I think we all know that not every single friend that we make is going to be with us for the rest of our lives, um, the relationships that I've made at Blackman will definitely last me. I'm definitely always going to remember the people and the friends I've made here. Um, I've made a lot of really good friends and uh, I don't think I'll ever forget any of them. So one thing I'll, I'll remember at Blackman is my experience with Key Club. Um, my experience with Key Club, it's been all over the place serving as the, the president and then serving on the district board as lieutenant governor, traveling throughout Kentucky and Tennessee and just meeting so many different people. And Dr. Justice has always supported me 100% as well as Ms. Hamby. And that's just one great experience that every high school senior should have. What's one piece of advice you would give to underclassmen or incoming freshmen at BHS? Freshmen, I think this piece of advice would be especially beneficial to you if you would learn your left and your right and in the hallways keep right. It's easy to say not to like stress about your grades but we're valedictorian so obviously we stressed about grades but I would say like find that balance like I, I never missed out on like an opportunity to go to like a football game or hang out with my friends because I was studying for a test. I would definitely like find that balance between studying and having fun. To the underclassmen and freshmen I'd just like to say turn in your work and that will solve almost all of your problem with grades in school. One piece of advice I would give to underclassmen would be to get involved with anything and everything Blackman has to offer. Um, Blackman does offer so many opportunities here to grow and definitely if you were to be involved it would be very beneficial for you. Advice to an underclassman, um, 
be nice to teachers, get on their good side. I tell underclassmen, work hard, play hard, um, always get your work done, but always remember to have fun. Um, people will judge you, but just be you. If you're the type that likes to ask a lot of questions like me, just ask a lot of questions and bug your teacher. It's just something you need to do. If you're gonna hit my car the first week of senior year, just make sure you have car insurance. What does Blackman Pride mean to you? Blackman Pride means to me that I'm more than just one person. I'm a part of a community. Um, and that community is there to support me and help me out when I need them. And it just gives me a feeling as if I'm part of something more than myself. Black and Pride to me is probably being in the front row of games and pep rallies and all that and cheering on my fellow classmates. When my sister graduated high school, the senior class president had a speech at graduation and he said something that made me really excited to come to Blackman and now it makes me sad to leave. He said, you are black men, I am black men, but together we are black men. And that just kind of like sums up the whole like black men pride thing. I was giving a tour the other day and someone asked me um, the same question. And I thought back and I said, the best way to really showcase what that means is our homecoming football game this year. We pulled out a win and Coach Watson sent the football team up to the band and they all, the football team all jumped the bleachers and linked up arms with us and sang the alma mater as we played and then the student section behind us linked arms and sang along. And I was like, wow, go Blaze. <laughs> to me, Blackwood Pride it means saying one, two, three, go Blaze every single time something bad happens. Gas leak, one, two, three, go Blaze. Blackwood Pride means that I'm a part of a very distinct culture and uh, and it's been shaped by many experiences I've had and friendships I've made. All right, so Blackman Pride to me is more than just having school spirit. It's embracing everything that you do at Blackman and using it as an identity here. And that's what I think really makes Blackman a unique school here. And so yeah, go Blaze. In the hills of Tennessee, neat the clear blue sky, Blackman Pride means to me just um, diversity. It means that everyone comes from different backgrounds and everyone does different things, whether it be basketball, football, theater, um, dance. We all have different things that go on and we all have different things that we do, but we all come together in the end and support Blackman and support each other. Blackman Pride means to me is to come to school every day knowing that uh, there's always something exciting to do, something exciting to learn. What does it mean to be a valedictorian at BHS? To be a valedictorian means I valued my grades over sleep and my sanity. Being a valedictorian at Blackman High School is one of my life fulfilling goals and it feels great to accomplish it. Being a valedictorian means that I'm getting recognition for the four years of hard work I've put in to school. It means that I've stayed up countless nights and that I'm an insomniac. It also means that I need to find something better to do with my life besides school. To me, being a valedictorian, I just think it means that you get your report card to reflect your state of mind throughout that whole year, just going, ah. To be a valedictorian, um, it honestly means a lot to me. I'm not like one of those kids who expected to be here after the four years, but here I am and to me it's just confirmation that everything I was doing, all the choices that I was making and all of the late night studying and the sleep deprived nights were definitely worth it. Valedictorian means that at graduation I get a medal and I get to sit at the front. Being a valedictorian means that I've been very dedicated throughout high school and really I didn't know I was going to be a valedictorian until junior year and then I was like, wow, I still have a 4.0, this is kind of cool. So then I tried to keep it and um, also I'm really good at using Google and I don't get a lot of sleep. It means that I spent the majority of my time focusing on a number instead of who I am, but it also helped me get into Vanderbilt. It means I cried about my GPA a lot. Being a valedictorian means that I set a goal and I kept that goal in mind and I achieved it finally, so that feels pretty good. What's the funniest thing that ever happened to you at a BHS event? The funniest thing that happened to me at a BHS event was just the other week when this guy who thought he was the real Slim Shady 
dropped his pants on stage. The funniest thing that I've ever seen at a BHS event was at one of the football games this year. A friend of mine got pants and a little too much came off and it was just hilarious. So every year Key Club goes on this fall rally at Dollywood and this year on the way back I got hit in the head and I got a concussion and the whole like two hour ride back Miss Hamby kept going, Heather, are you awake? Heather, you have to stay awake. So then we get back and I had this big black eye all around here and my whole face was yellow for like three weeks and it was really embarrassing. In freshman year, during lunch, I was at lunch with my friends and somehow a random fight just landed on our table and all the food landed all over me with mashed potatoes on my shirt, um, sweet tea and milk over my pants and basically it was just a terrible day but luckily my day got better because the cafeteria was serving chicken nuggets and well I got free chicken nuggets that day. So I got kicked out of the senior night football game this year. I can't go into details. One day, I guess it was sophomore year, I was wearing a dress and I looked really cute that day. And um, of course, I was wearing a backpack because, you know, we're at school. So um, I was walking down the hallway and um, I guess I didn't notice, but apparently everyone behind me noticed and no one told me. But um, I guess my dress was riding up because of my backpack. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. Finally someone told me after I guess about five minutes of walking down the hallway with my dress up and um, so that was a really embarrassing moment in my life and I don't wear dresses anymore because of that. It's not really funny, it's more embarrassing, but I was giving a kid a tour of his classes because he was new here and I couldn't find half of them so he stopped in the middle of it and he looked at me and he was like, wait, are you new here too? What is one thing no one would know about you unless you told them? Sophomore year of band camp, I got my bottom tooth knocked out, but all good. <laughs> Sophomore year at a baseball game, I was hitting. Um, I ended up hitting myself in the face with the ball, and then I got a concussion. I used to have blonde hair. I'm almost totally fluent in Spanish, and I'm currently learning Japanese. One thing that people wouldn't know about me unless I told them, unless they are like huge fans of CSI, I was on CSI. I also did a couple Rice Krispies commercials and Toyota commercials. And I had my own show and J.J. Abrams was the director. Um, it didn't get picked up though, so. And then I quit for gymnastics. It was a really smart decision. I'm really into NASCAR and other types of racing. Uh, I like international racing a lot and if I wasn't playing trumpet I'd probably be racing or working on cars stuff like that. Many people don't know that I can chug a water bottle under four seconds so that's one thing. I don't think a lot of people know that I'm terribly scared of butterflies. What is one thing you'd like to say to your parents? Thank you for staying up late with me for being my essay editor. Thank you for packing me sandwiches every day for lunch, and being a constant support system. I, uh, I would want to say thank you for helping me to become a very mature person and very wise and always reminding me to put God first in everything I do. Thanks for letting me cry at the kitchen table every day. Mom, thank you for teaching me math. You're a, a pretty good teacher. Uh, Dad, thank you for pushing me. <laughs> Thanks for the noggin. I just want to thank my parents for always being there and encouraging me and staying up even though they didn't want to and helping me out with homework and school whenever they could. I'm just here so I won't get fined. So mom and dad, um, I may not be senior class president, but you know, I'm a valedictorian, so that's one thing. Mom, thank you for not caring, I'll explain. Um, you didn't pressure me to get good grades, you just expected it. You didn't look at my report cards or anything and because of that I got to excel and experiment on my own and thank you for that. If I could say one thing to my parents it would be thanks for putting up with me over the last four years. <laughs>
big chest with a dream in my backpack on. Welcome to the land of great success. Woo! Are we gonna fit in? Pulled out my phone watching Netflix during class time. Look to my right and I see a teacher walk by. We're all kind of lazy, but we have to be the greatest. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. When my teacher plays a video and we're relaxing all day long. We're relaxing all day long. We're relaxing all day long. So I throw my cap up the call in my name. Graduation is finally here. Moving out of the house like yeah. Saying bye to black and like yeah. So I throw my cap up the call in my name. I'm surprised that we're okay. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Walk in the halls without a prime time pass. Principal's looking at me now. Like, who is that kid that's out of class? We'll be nice and let this one slide. So hard to be in class with all the guests. We so we haven't been to an actual party. Cause all we do is study. Just kidding, we Google the answers. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. That's what the teacher says. It's a grading curve. I kept my 4.0. That's how I kept my 4.0. Oh, oh. That's how I kept my 4.0. So I tap up to call in my name, graduation is finally here. Moving out of the house like yeah, saying bye to black men like yeah. So I tap up to call in my name, I'm surprised that we're okay. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Feel like walking across the stage, across the stage. Grab my diploma and see what's ahead. What's ahead? Something stops me every time. Every time. I hear go blaze from afar and I feel alright. So I throw my cap up to call in my name. Graduation is finally here. Moving out of the house like yeah. Saying bye to black and like yeah. So my cap up to call in my name. I'm surprised that we're okay. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Yeah, it's a party when we graduate. Go for it. Woo! Woo! All right. I know you're a great one. You guys, for us, sound better?